who's in here? Hello, Brother Mark. Hello, Nellie, Janelle, Azareth, Azariah, Deanna, Zenit, Latanya, Bridget, Katrina, Christy. Christy, I see you um join the winning circle. Um you you um be part of the winner circle uh as a new subscriber to the winner circle so welcome sister you should receive an email with a welcome package soon hello queen joe sharonda wick s parker kiera marquisha god's garden of truth how are how's everyone doing hello lanise kina Robin, Miss Lewis, welcome, welcome, Arkea, Christopher, how's everyone feeling? How are you guys doing? Um, for you who all who don't know, we are currently on a fast right now. We are fasting today through Wednesday. Who's joined us on the fast? Um, who's joining us on our, what is it called? The clean up, the clean out. What's the title? What's the name of the fast? Um, Who's joined me on the fast? I'm gonna read the details to you guys right now so that we can get some clarity on that before we go. Out with the old fast. Out with the old fast. Who has joined me on the out with the old fast? We have wounds from the battles. We have debris from the storms. And we have some things that have been brought up and exposed that needs to be it's like silver when you put it in a fiery furnace the impurities come to the top and you got to wipe it off so out with the old we got some garments on that needs to go we got some thought patterns some feelings and emotions that came from what we've been through in 2023 and before that needs to go there are some spirits that we're going to be addressing and getting rid of um during this fast we are cleaning everything out out with old anything that isn't expired you got to go any feelings any emotions that came from that past relationship where you came in agreement with your ex-boyfriend your ex-wife gotta go we are no longer anybody who is in this fast with me hold on let me stop who is, y'all like my wolf t-shirt? I brought it for my son. He said he ain't like it. So I said, well, I'll take it, brother. Bye. <laughs> Who has joined me on this fast? Let's see. All right. Out with the old fast. Come on, let me see who's in it. Deanna says she's in. Jamia says she's in. Queen Joe says she's in. Out with the old. Tina, I'm guessing you're in. Out with the old. Thank you for everyone who reminded me. Brittany says she's in. Miss Young, I know you in. Nia said I'm joining. 
Let's park up. You better be on this fast, girl. That's great. All right. Who's in on this fast? Fast details. It's not too late to join us. We go from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Y'all, listen, I, I'm, I wasn't going to brag, but let me brag. Do y'all not remember the breakthroughs that we got back in September from our Rosh Hashanah fast? Okay. These fasts go hard here at PDX. Okay, Alexis Thunder says she's in. It's okay. If you missed a prayer call this morning, it's okay. I'm putting a Zoom link up. I'm going to clarify everything. Okay, but yeah, I need everybody in, my day ones, my newbies. I need y'all in on this fast breakthrough. God is saying out with the old. You cannot pour new wine into old wine skins. So together as a family, let's get rid of them old wine skins. Let's get over rid of them abusive comments that that ex-boyfriend spoke over your life. Them lying word curses from your mama. Them self-defeating thoughts. Some of y'all way too hard on yourselves. Them condemnation spirits where you condemning yourself and telling yourself and comparing yourself to others. We are out with oh. In with the new. Hashtag in with the new. All right. Some of y'all got some shoes in y'all closet that need to be thrown out because they stinking up the place and they too small. The same thing in your spiritual life. Sometimes you got to do inventory and see what got to go and what can stay. All right. Some of y'all still got some false obligations to some friends from way back in high school. You're still thinking about maybe we should have never stopped being friends and maybe I should have, could have, would have. It is time to get rid of regret and guilt. Is anybody on this fast with me? Let me tell you why. Because not only this video is on kingdom marriages, okay? And this ministry is called to kingdom marriages as the Lord reminded me that of this morning. But I will say this. You got to get rid of some old things before your husband or your wife come because you don't want them sitting on top of stuff, sitting on top of ideas, sitting on top of old feelings and emotions from yesterday, out with the old. The Lord has taken the crown off of one king and put it on the other, okay? Took it off of one queen, Vashni, and put it on another, okay, which was Esther. God is always setting his crown on somebody's head, okay? And God is setting a new crown on your head. God is crowning you. Hashtag me, me in the valley. God is setting you up for your kingdom marriage. I need some crowns. I need some crowns up in here, up in here. That is why I titled this video U-Turn. Somebody say, skirt. Okay, U-Turn. All right. Hello, Aubrey. Hello, Rhonda R. Hello. Okay, out with the old fast. I'm saying it. I'm going to say it one time. I'm going to say it one good time because I'm taking time away from my live to give y'all this information that's already on our community page. But since some people don't listen to me and email me and write me all day with all these questions, let me help you out. Y'all ready? The Out With The Old Fast is going to take place Monday, starting today, to Wednesday from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay, if you're taking notes, Romans 6, 4. Romans 6, 4, Ephesians 4, 22, and Isaiah 43, 19. I'm not repeating it. It is on the community page. The food is fruits and vegetables and water. If your doctor says different, follow those instructions, but do the best that you can to follow with us. Follow through with us. Fruits and vegetables, fruit smoothies, vegetable smoothies, mix it up. Do what you got to do. Understood? All right. We do a prayer call every morning on the fast, right? This was something that I added. So if you've seen the first post, the second post, I came back, I added that we're going to do prayer calls. We did one this morning at 6.30 a.m. The link to that or this morning, the way you can hook, get into that, I sent out a phone number. We're not using no conference number this time. That was raggedy. That was straight ghetto. We ain't doing a conference number no more. We are doing a Zoom call. If you are tuning in now, Go back to the beginning of the video. Do not start from right here. Go back and then catch up with us. Uh, we do for the fast. We are doing a Zoom call. Okay, tomorrow morning. And so listen, follow along. So we did a call at 6.30 a.m. this morning. 
Tomorrow, we're going to do a call at 6.30 a.m. Prayer call. It was so powerful this morning. You don't want to miss. But on Wednesday, we have 11 a.m. Zoom call. And I'm doing that because we're in different time zones, right? So we got to make sure everybody at least got in on the prayer call. But Monday, today, we did 6.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tuesday, 6.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tomorrow, I mean, Wednesday, we're going to do 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Zoom. Please come prepared to turn your cameras on, okay? I need cameras on. Be prepared. I don't want to stare at a picture of you. Y'all all are beautiful, but I see you here. I got to look at y'all little pictures and whatever now. The last thing I want is do a Zoom call. I got to look at the same thing I'm looking at on the live. Please be ready to turn your cameras on. I don't care if you got a bonnet on your hair. I understand y'all mothers, y'all got jobs, y'all fathers, y'all got things going on. We don't care how y'all look. Just come as you are, ready to turn your Zoom camera on with your hair scarf on. We don't care. Um, uh, glory be to God. So, yes, so this is the out with me, out with the old fast, out with the old fast. Okay, we are shifting our crowns. We are putting on our kingdom marriage crowns. We are putting on our crowns of authority and the callings over our life. We are taking off those burning down robes that we've been wearing, them stinky robes, them, them robes full of grief and mourning. We're getting rid of all that. We're not taking that into the new year and no one is going to be able to make us feel like we felt the last few months defeated and tired and weary from the battle. We have came through with victory in our hand. Hashtag out with the old. All right. Our fast, the Lord, the Lord does something great and mighty on the fast here, our prophetic diary, all right? Glory be to God. All right, uh, for all of our new subscribers, go ahead. If you're not already subscribed, I should say, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Hit on the like button. Don't make me have to take a pause in the middle of the video. If them likes ain't adding up to the amount of people on here, I promise you I'm going to stop and I'm going to wait till it catch up. So just go on to like the video now. They got mad at me last time when I stopped in the middle of the video and made them wait to like the video. Like the video. Um, if you're not already subscribed. All that you need to know about Prophetic Diary is down in the description box. How to sign up for that one-on-one. -on -one, how to join us in the winner Circle. How to become a subscriber at KeepWinAssist.com. I send out emails with information, um, coupons to Keep Assist to get you a cute little hoodie or activewear set for one of your family members. Get you a crew net. Get you a gift from Keep Win Assist to family members. You can get them some praying oil. I got praying oil. A lot of people love that. And then I got some prophetic diaries that people also love. Okay, a little cute little saying on the back. So, keywinnesses.com. So, become a subscriber there as well. And you can always follow us on Instagram at Prophetic Diary of Truth. All right, keep up, keep up with your church. Tap in, tap in with your church. All right, okay. All right, hashtag glory to God, hashtag PD Nation. I need some hashtag PD Nations. If you are tapped in to the anointing and the glory and the words and the prophet over this house, hashtag PD Nation. No. Haters, go take a seat. Hashtag PD Nation. Okay. Um, yup. So, like I said, I gave all the instructions for the fast at the beginning of the video. So, some of the questions y'all asking me, I already went over. Please go back to the beginning of the video after I get finished with this live or whatever, or you can go back now. But, and everything you need to know is on the community page. Please check it out there. Hashtag PD Nation. I see it. I see it. Queen Joe PD Nation. All right. Yes. Yes. As Parker said, them likes ain't up. I'm just saying, it's some people that don't play about PD and they they, they gonna let me know. So I, I need somebody looking at that for me while, before I get going. Because if I got to stop, I got to stop. Because there ain't no way. <laughs> you do your part, I do mine. When y'all got y'all at church every Sunday, I hope when y'all pastor preaching, y'all ain't not saying amen or hallelujah or doing something. Hallelujah. I hope y'all ain't take us. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Yep. Everything. I, 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 y'all asking me questions that I already gave. The Zoom leak is going to be on the community page. All right, I gave instructions a few times on how to get to the community page. You can Google how to get to the community page of a YouTube channel. But everything is there. Go back to the beginning of the video because I want you all to join me in this fast. In Jesus' name, we're two of Margaret. Look, God's gardener said them numbers off, girl. 
I'm going to let them, I'm going to let them take care of it today. So, um, we're going to be in Genesis two. All right. Very familiar passage. But this is a living word that we read every day, right? So it's a living word. So it's always bringing new life to us. It's a living word. So it's always bringing, when you got fresh flowers in your house, like I do in the background, I try to keep fat, fresh flowers. Um, but they're living right now. Even though they've been clipped, they're still living. They're giving a fresh scent in the house, a newness. They're cleaning the air for me. They doing their thing. When they die, they still have a nice little scent to them, but they're not doing uh, the job that they were once doing before. They're not keeping the air clean. They're, they're just, they just need to be thrown out. But this is a living word just like that. And every day it brings a freshness and a newness, um, to our lives. So this is the living word. So every time you read the word of God, it should bring something new to your life. Um, religious people, they think it means this, this only, but no, when you have the Holy spirit thriving and living to you, living in you today, you know, um, a word might mean something to you. And then the next day it means something different. And you could say, I know he, the plans he had for me, plans to prosper me, depending on your situation is depending on what it means to you in that moment. This is a living word. When you read the Bible, it should be jumping off of the page. You're not reading about characters in a fantasy book. You're not reading about characters just in the mind so that you know the power and authority that you possess and how God did it for them. He could do it for you. Hashtag, hashtag, amen. Hashtag glory to God. So I'm um, going to read a very familiar passage today. It's, this is this video is on kingdom marriage. Of, um, so hope you really, really enjoy it because kingdom marriage is on the Lord's mind. That is what's on the Lord's mind. A lot of things. Yes. Well, what about the people? Right? What about the poor people? What about this? Whatever. The, if you join our prayer cause, we are always feeding the poor around here, taking care of the people around here. We do a lot around PD. We're taking care of people all day and all night. That is not something you need to check me on. Okay. If you were connected in the flow of PD, you would know exactly all that we did here at Prophetic Diary. You can't watch videos here and there. Pop up when you want. Don't tap in and say, what, why are they not doing this? You don't know what we do because you're not in the flow and you're not tapped in. You are a critic. And if, if you've never done it, don't tell somebody else how to do it. But glory be to God. But right now, God, um, kingdom marriage is on the hearts of, uh, it's on the heart of God because he know when he brings these families together, when he bring this man and this woman together, they will have children that will grow and do the work from the Lord. When he bring these families and these marriages together, that you'll be happy and you'll be healed and you can go back and get more unhealed women and he can go back and get unhealed men. Once these marriages come together, y'all going to be dancing and singing. Everybody going to be able to see the glory of the Lord. Lord and how he brought you through the Lord has kingdom marriage on his mind not so that you have somebody to have matching pajamas with on Christmas so that when people see y'all in the matching pajamas with the Holy Spirit and an anointing and those crowns on your head that they will want it that they will want what you have and give up their lifestyle or whatever they doing and come into the presence of God so they can get what you got okay yeah, so it is for the glory of the Lord to shine off of you and your boot thing. Okay, it is worth it. People say, oh, I'm tired of going through as a Christian. And they, you know, people, you know, we've been about this life. Some of us been about this process life and going through things and understanding about circumcision and things getting cut off of our life. And we've gone through a lot of pruning together here at Prophetic Diary. We've gone through a lot of change and development and processing and all these good things and purifying here prophetic diary because we know that we constantly have to ward off and, and get rid of. Thank you T for that seed. Um, we have to get rid of a lot of the old in order for God to trust us with more and trust us with new. And some people don't like, they don't like to be processed. They rather watch other people go through the process and, oh, we don't take all of that. And I'm better than them and I'm better than them. But no, baby, we all have to go through our process. We all have to go through this. And why it takes so much? Because much is given, much is required. You Can you imagine what a prophet goes through? You can't even imagine what a prophet goes through and the, and the, the, 
the constantly having to sit before God and listen to God. Prophets hear from God. We're always hearing from God. It's, it's not a good job when you're a carrier of the information of God, when you're a carrier of the secrets of God. It's a it's not an easy job at all. And y'all should always be praying for prophets. And people don't want to put no respect on prophets' names, not even in these modern day churches. They don't got no respect for prophets. They think prophets are weird or they think prophets is this. They always put their name on prophets. That's why the Bible say, touch not my anointing and do my prophet no harm. It didn't say, touch not my anointing and do my apostle no harm. Touch not my anointing and do my um my this no harm. It never said that. It said, do my prophet no harm because we are the prophets and I can, I'm can. i not bragging on the prophets. I'm just being real with y'all. But we, we are constantly saying hates us above all else because we carry information for you. For the flock. And it says, the Lord says, whoever know my uh, uh, my voice, a uh, uh, stranger's voice, they will not follow. And God uses prophets as his mouthpiece. That's why prophets have followers. That's why God bring you a prophet to follow. Like he brought Moses, like he brought Deborah. Deborah was the only woman prophet mentioned in the Bible. Just like he brought Elijah and all the other prophets and people followed them and, and believed in them and trust in their words. And when Samuel would come through the town, they would get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, a prophet is in the town. Jesus, a prophet. Prophets are important no matter how much dirt people try to throw in our name. People are really hard on prophets. They, hard, they hold prophets uh, at a high expectation. And people are very hard on prophets when they should be praying on prophets because prophets are the ones that bring you the word, the word. Yes, the word of God and you're studying, you're reading, but you need a prophet. Everyone needs a prophet. Every church needs a prophet. Don't let them fool you. Did the children of Israel not need Moses? Yes, Moses free. How many people? Stop playing with me. So with that being said, God has us sitting up under these words for these kingdom marriages, using me as a mouthpiece to come to you to let you know what is going on in the spiritual realm concerning your marriage, concerning your marriage. OK, and, and constantly having to be processed. Now, you know, we're prophets are processed through these words, which are if not more, it, you know, we're, we're our dreams, our visions a lot of information all the time just to release a word from other people. So y'all need to be praying and looking out for the prophets and stop being so hard on them. And I'm not just talking for me. I'm talking for other channels too. Stop being so hard on them and stop, you know, correct your thoughts and everything. And the Lord has me talking about this. And before I get into the full word, I want to talk about Deborah because Deborah, God reminded me of her right before I went live. And, and Deborah, um, Deborah was a prophet. And she heard God's voice and she shared God's words to others. She was a woman prophet and she was a priestess and she didn't sacrifice things as the men did, but she did lead worship services and preach. Deborah, a woman, and she was a prophet. And um, uh, Deborah and Deborah um, uh, and um, she she was a judge. So meaning that the people came to her and asked her to judge their situations. She not only was a judge, I'm preaching right now. She was not only a judge, but she was a warrior and she was a poet and she was a prophet and she was a singer and she was a, a songwriter. So Deborah had many, many gifts. And many, many talents that God had given to her and instilled in her in a time where men were winning. Okay? So God loves his prophets and he takes care of his prophets and he used Deborah as a judge. Come on now. Let's pray. Let's learn to pray. Let's learn some respect. Let's learn if a, your prophet give you a word, you got to receive that word because prophets aren't giving you words. Prophets aren't giving you words for their own gain. Those are fake false prophets that give you words for their own gain. They're out there. But a true prophet of the Lord is getting in and, and, and taking in all of this. Like it's like I'm going to get into this, but it's like a B. What prophets do is if you don't know, can you scroll? And I'm trying to help y'all out. What uh, what prophet do is we take in all the pollen, right? We take in all the pollen because Deborah is uh, the name was in Hebrew me is translated to be a bee, and a bee. What bees what bees do is first of all they follow their leader, right? 
They the 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 the, the bees follow their leader. That's why you need a prophet to follow. I'm preaching right now. Somebody mad, but it's okay. And they they follow the the the, the teachings of Deborah. They follow the prophet's teaching. You got to follow along. That's why I'm always saying, get it to the flow. You got to hear the words of a true prophet and not take it for granted. Because prophets will save you some time. I promise you, they will save you some time. Okay, and 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 um and, and Deborah like they brought in she brings in the bees and they pollinate right um they collect pollen and, and nectar for not for their own benefit but for the benefit of others. So prophets bring in and collect pollen and nectar for to create honey that's sweet for all of y'all. So I'm I'm just being clear. I'm just being clear on some things because going into 2024, y'all 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 gonna have to. Y'all I want God, you know. Touch on my nose to my prophet arm. I want y'all to be careful when y'all listening to these prophets and y'all putting y'all mouths on these prophets and y'all leaving comments and and God hears your thoughts. So be careful, okay? And I know people only came for the kingdom marriage word, but I'm trying to get you some breakthrough. Get your marriage some breakthrough too. Um, and uh, and um, so I just wanted to remind you that God gave me Deborah for that um, for that reason, so that I know that God is going to be releasing words here that's going to be very beneficial to you. And um, yes, love like a bee. Sometimes I got a sting, right? God, sometimes God got to sting us to bring some correction. Okay, prophets are sent to uproot, tear some things up, like I always say. So sometimes it's sting, but but at the same time they provide you with honey. Right. So let's remember we got to have balance. Right. You got to be balanced. You don't want a prophet or a teacher that ain't never correcting you. All right. That's what you don't want. All right. So glory be to God for God giving us that word. Can I get an amen for that word? The Lord just gave us. Right. 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 Can I can I get an amen for that? Because that was all God. Can I get an amen? That was all God. That was all God. That was all God just had to give y'all word. So back to Genesis 2. Y'all ready for the word of God concerning your kingdom marriage? Anybody ready for the word of God? Turn your kingdom. Amen. Did that help anybody out? Thank you, Latanya. Thank you, Latanya. Just had to clean some things up. We're cleaning some things up. We're getting back on chat. Yep. Somebody said conviction. That's all right. Being conviction. That, that's why we do it. The Lord will bring conviction. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yup, 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 queens, yup, yup, prophet is like saying, okay, I'm glad that that word helped y'all. Just remember to pray for your prophets, all right? They get enough flack, all right? God is talking to them all day and all night about y'all. It's a lot. Some of them stay up all night hearing words, attacked in their dreams. And I'm not saying you don't get attacked, but what I'm saying is that to bring these words, it ain't easy, okay? So I know Deborah's job wasn't easy, all right? But glory be to God for all that he do. Hallelujah. And there is a prophet's reward and God reward his prophets, even if the people don't. So it's okay. But I'm just letting y'all know that God did have that on his heart for me to share with y'all today. So Genesis, 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 Genesis. God, this is when God had, had, it says 18. Now the Lord God had planted a garden in the east in Eden. And there he put the man he had formed. So there's a garden of Eden and the Lord places a man there. And the Lord made all kinds of trees to grow out of the ground. Trees that were pleasing to the eye and good for food <clears throat> in the middle of the garden where the tree of life and the tree of knowledge and evil was. So God has this garden. He places um, Adam and Eve in it, flowing with milk and honey, walking in a cooler day. Life is good. Hashtag life was good. Life was good. I need some more likes on that screen or I will stop. We going to all do our jobs around here. I'm sorry if the other channels don't hold people accountable. Don't whatever, whatever I am. There's a whole different church. If you don't like it, you don't got to stay. It is what it is. Okay. Glory be to God. Um... And so the Lord had planted a garden of Eden, right? And in this garden, it was meant for um, Adam to rule, for man to rule, for life to be pleasant and easy. And and hearing the words of y'all, y'all know all about the garden of Eden, right? And um, but it says right here, but for Adam, no suitable helper was found. And it says, well, for Adam, so that means the elephants has somebody, the tigers has somebody, the lions has somebody, the bears has somebody. And the Bible says, but for Adam, no suitable helpmate was found. So 
you know, your kingdom spouse, you're the only suitable mate for your kingdom spouse. Hallelujah. Glory to that. You're the only suitable mate for your kingdom spouse. Can I get a hashtag? Amen. You are the only suitable mate. Hashtag, I'm the only suitable mate for your spouse. That's why you don't got to be insecure when other women come around and all this stuff. Because you're the only suitable mate for your helper. So the Lord God caused a man to fall into a deep sleep. God often have people fall into a sleep. He talks to people all the time in their sleep. God does a great working in your sleep. Hashtag in your sleep. Your dreams is more real than your reality. In your dream life, God tells you more and shows you more in your dreams than he do in your awakening life. Okay, glory be to that. Adam was about to get the biggest blessing of his life in his sleep. Y'all act like y'all done heard these words before. Stop playing with me. I need more likes. I need more likes. Y'all ain't about to come steal my oil and I can't even get a light. We about to do this. Somebody mad. I don't care. Yep. I'm just checking my emails and just wait for them likes to go up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'ma just wait. I'ma just wait. I'ma just wait. They can get mad. They can leave. That is fine with me. That is fine with me. This is God's house, not yours. This is God's house, not yours, not mine, not nobody's. This is God's house. You don't like his rules? That ain't my problem. Yeah. Mm, this is God's house. You don't run nothing. You don't own nothing around here. <laughs> You don't own nothing. You don't run nothing. This is God's house. Okay. And if God said you're going to respect his prophets, God said you're going to respect his prophets. Whether you like it or not, you don't got to stay here. Okay. I ain't here for likes. I ain't here for numbers. I ain't here for subscribers. I ain't here for your money. I'm here to do my Lord's job. You do yours. That's up to you. But I'm going to do mine. Okay. I need about 15 more likes. Mm -hmm. can't say we want more if we 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 don't challenge ourselves and okay We gonna get it right. We gonna get it together. We sure are. There's too many devouring spirit, taking spirits around here. There's not enough giving spirits. You got. They got to be more giving, more open, overflowing. Just like your prophets release these words so openly, so givingly. Gotta be the same. Gotta be fifty fifty. That's why God had me share with y'all about Deborah. Come on, God is taking us to a higher standard. We have high standards here at PD. We just do. All right, five more people. Still ain't the same amount of people watching, but whatever that God, that's between them and God. Yeah, she did. My story says it's a form of seed, sowing. It's not a, necessarily a seed, right? Thank you, sister. I'm glad you got it. Yeah, God's garden said that other than that, they monitor spirits. See, that's why I love y'all. That's why I love y'all. She said, if y'all ain't like y'all monitor, period. Period. I got real ones in the building. I know what time it is. Yeah. As Parker said, appreciation is well honored. Mm -hmm. I already got the word. I already got. I already got my breakthrough. <laughs> I already got mine. <laughs> I already got the word.
Wow, stars hollow, yeah. He had me researching that too, sister. Thank you, life move. Thank you, Bridget, for that seed. May God bless you, Bridget, hundredfold, sister. Right back at you. Yeah, we just waiting on the likes. People can leave. They can do whatever they got to do. Do what you, do you got to do. Because if you think I'm for sale, if you think I'm for sale, you got me messed up. All right, all right. Look like they waking up. Look like they waking up. Zana Tsang. Cause I could leave off on the Deborah word. That's probably enough. That 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 was a whole word in itself, right there. Honestly, two more, and I get started. They're like, well, why is she doing this? Cause I just gave a whole word, a whole word, and the least people do that's watching is like the video. You don't like that. There's nothing I could do about that. But y'all going to respect and honor this house. You're not, this not going to be a house where I'm just watching people tank. They say, you can't control that. I, I can't control that. I can't control if people take or not. But I know what the Lord has spoken to me. And it, the Lord is lifting up a standard here. And Satan not just going to come take and devour. If the people do their job, Satan ain't going to be able to run up in this church. If we close some back doors, he won't be able to run up on here. And this way we can get rid of the takers. I, I, I'd rather lose subscribers, honestly. I'd rather, I rather lose people than gain a bunch of people that ain't got no reverence and respect for God and the things that he's doing here. I don't care about numbers. Y'all going to learn that. Promise to God I don't. You're going to learn that. I'd rather have people that truly love him and that is tapped in. Then a bunch of monitoring spirits. I don't want it around me. But everybody different. Maybe every other channel do it for numbers. They do it for other reasons. But I want a bunch of listeners around me. I don't just want people hearing the word. I want listeners around me. I want I want healthy, strong Christians that's putting in the work. I don't want a bunch of uh, um, uh, people sitting on the fence. Double-minded people around me. I, I want to come in my chat and see healthy people. Healthy Christians. I need, like, that in the winter circle, you didn't join, but for those who did join, the outer courts and inner courts. I want inner court people in my church. I don't want a bunch of outer court people that's just in the congregation, gathering, talking, and playing. I want inner court people that hear from God, who love God, who receive his word, that respect the house. That's what I want for my channel. Thank you. So we got the same amount of numbers. We actually got more likes than we do people. <laughs> Glory to God. All right. So back to the word. Hallelujah. Somebody just got a breakthrough right there. Lord, God, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Christopher Mock, for that seed. Thank you, prophetic license. Glory be to God, y'all. God going to bless y'all. Hallelujah. It said, but, 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 but for Adam, no suitable helper was found. Everyone else had, everyone else has somebody. Or your spouse been out looking for somebody, but can't find no suitable helper. Lord God, thank you for the presence of the Lord. You know what God just sent me, us waiting like that? Got rid of a bunch of people. Glory to God. He said, he said, I made y'all wait like that because I wanted to get rid of the monitoring spirits. I wanted to get rid of the disobedient people. I wanted to get rid of the people that was on the fence. So glory to God for everybody that left in that time. Because God just said, Tiny, I did that so that the spirit can flow. I got rid of the monitoring spirits. I got rid of the, whoo, the mocking spirits. He said, in that time, I got rid of the ones that only showed up from the word. I got rid of, glory, glory to God. Hallelujah. 
That's why you always got to wait to the overflow. Now I just feel the flow of the presence. We are clean. We are, listen, this fast ain't no joke. Out with the old, out with them old, out with them old stagnant, expired people. Lord God, that ain't truly about your work. It says, but Adam, no suitable helper was found. Thank you, Jesus. I can praise you, Lord, for cleaning them out, Lord God. Hallelujah. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs and closed up his place of flesh. Whew. When your husband, your spouse, when your spouse least expect it that longing for that they have for not having a suitable mate they've been on so many dates they've been around so many women they've been around so many women men they have been looking for a suitable mate here and there but god says when they least expect it i'm gonna open up i'm going to open up God says, while they're sleeping, he took the man's rib and he closed the place of his flesh. When he least expected, God opens him up and pulled out a suitable mate right out of him. He was already born with that rib. He was already born with that woman in mind. God had already had Eve. She was already resting on his side. She had his, your rib cage protects your guts and your belly. Your rib cage protects your heart. Your rib cage protects your organ. She was in his rib already protecting him. I'm preaching. They trying to act like I'm not preaching, but I know my brother Christopher listening to me. I know my brother Christopher. I know Queen Joe listening. He had already had his rib. Some of these men are out here looking for other women and talking to other women. When you already have your rib, you need to make a U-turn. Hashtag U-turn. You already have your rib, Adam, resting on your side. And you out here looking, Lord God, I thank you for your presence on this word. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are outside looking all around. All around, you are looking and searching for something that you already have. And the Lord says, when they least expect it, I'm going to put them into a deep sleep. I'm going to cause them to fall into a deep sleep. I'm going to cause them to fall out of the world that they know now. When we're awake, we're in this world. But when we go to sleep, we go into a totally different world. And he's saying, oh, God, thank you for cleaning up people out. They ain't even deserve this word. Glory be to God. He says, when you fall into a deep sleep, you enter into another world, into another realm. When you fall asleep, you enter into a whole nother world, a whole nother realm. And when you do, the Lord is able to speak to you. And, and Adam said, he says, and he closed up the man's rib, up the man's rib. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib. He had taken out of it and brought her to the man. This is all in his dream. This is all in Adam's dream. This is happening. Adam was not awake. He was sleeping. Let me teach today. Let me teach today. Adam was asleep when all of this was happening. It did not say he woke up. This is all happening while Adam is sleeping. Don't play with me today. Yeah. God is going to take your spouse into a whole nother world and let them receive you and let them receive the call. Let them receive the auction. Let them receive the information that this is your wife, bone of your bone, flesh of your flesh. And the man said, this is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. Adam said, this is now my boo thing. We have become one. She is mine. I am hers. I am, she's mine. She has been taken out of me. God brought her back to me in a different form. She left as my rib. She came back as my wife. You may have left his life one way, but you're coming back in his life another way. That's a whole word right here. Stop playing with me today. Y'all know y'all feel the anointing on this Lord flowing on y'all lives right now. You left his life one way. You left his life as a bone. You left his life and you came back in his life. Bone his bone, flesh his flesh. You was just a bone in his body when he left them heavens. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. And you left his life. You came into his life as a 
bone. And all of a sudden, the Lord put him into a deep, a deep sleep, and he realized that his rib cage was standing right in front of him. He realized that his protector, his prayer warrior, his defender was standing right before him. I'm preaching today. They can act like I'm not, but I'll take this word for myself. Was standing right before him him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is happening while Adam is asleep. And Adam says this, Adam said in his sleep, stop thinking he was awake. Like I said, he was not awake. The man said, this is now bone of my bone, flesh of my fat flesh. She, she, she shall be called one man and she will take, she was taken out of a man. Me and her already came into this world together. If you don't believe it, the eggs that you have in your body, you already have them. The children that you have are already in your body, in your loins. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Women, you are carrying around the seed right now that you will one day birth. Glory to God. Adam was already carrying around his woman to God. Thank you, God, for this word, even if they don't receive it. Glory to God for this word. Thank you so much, Father God, for this word, for the nation that it would touch, the people that it would touch, the lives that it would change. Thank you so much, Father God, even if it's one, Lord God. I stop and I thank you for this word. God, I will give you a like. I'm going to give my God a like. Let me stop and give my God a like in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. In verse 24, it said, for this reason, a man will leave his father and his mother and be united with his wife and they will become one flesh. He said, for this reason, for this reason, the woman and the man have come together, bone to their bone, flesh to their flesh. And for this reason, a man will leave his friends, his mother and be united with his wife. He is to leave. He is to leave the protection of his father. He is supposed to leave the protection of his mother, the words of his mother, the counsel of his mother, not all of it, but he is to leave what he wants known as home and go to his wife and start his own home. Woo! Lord God, he is <clears throat> to leave what he knew. God, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God talking to me while I'm talking to y'all. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to God. Hey, Amen. And you are to lead what you once called home, and you supposed to make a home with your wife. You are once supposed to leave what your mama and your daddy taught you, take what they taught you, and you need to go start your own home with your wife. Glory be to God. You are to leave your homeboys and, and everything you learned from your ex-wife and everything you learned from that other girlfriend. You supposed to leave all that behind. Take those lessons and make them blessings in your new home and Jesus thing. For this reason, a man will leave his father and his mother and be united with his wife and they will become one flesh. The man and his wife were both naked and they felt no shame. You are supposed to be able to be vulnerable in front of your spouse. They were both naked and they were both vulnerable, stripped down of what everybody else kind of say. Not worried about what their mom and daddy said. Not worried about what it looks like. Not oh so what you both did each other wrong. Get over it. Walking in forgiveness. Walking in a newness. You you too. You, some of y'all argue too much with your spouse. Some of y'all got too much pride. Some of y'all got something slick to say every two minutes. Some of y'all don't believe and trust God to do it. Uh, the other day. Um, you know, God was, uh, yesterday God was saying, you know, you know some uh, a familiar spirit will come and say, you need to text him. You need to text him. Text him. Reach out first when you know God told you to stay out of the way. And you got to be careful of familiar spirits. And you got to be careful of spirits trying to get you to text or call that person when you know God told you not to. Because that is you taking control. That is you getting in the way again. Because that same spirit need to go to your spouse to tell them to text you. Why is that spirit only coming to you saying you need to text him good morning and tell him that you love him? That spirit should be going to your spouse then if it's fair, if it's not a familiar spirit, right? Is that not true? Is that not true? How come that spirit only coming to you telling you to call them and take them and take them soup when they sick? Why that spirit not telling them to bring you some soup when you sick? Oh, I just crushed some people right there. I just made some people mad. Some people that like to justify getting in the way or justify God telling them to let go and they don't let go. Yeah, why that, why that same spirit ain't, it's the Holy Spirit, right? Then why the Holy Spirit ain't talking to them? 
why you the only one make moves. But but you got to be careful of getting in the way of the Lord because God says, I'll make it so that it's 50-50, that y'all both are vulnerable, that y'all both are standing there naked, that y'all both are in need of each other, that y'all both are in like of each other to the same capacity. If you get out of my way, I will bring to knowing that you are his wife. I will take his rib out. I will remind him of his rib. I will make him leave his mother and father house. I'll make him leave them friends alone. I'll take him out of that pride. I will say that Adam is prepared and ready to bring and bring y'all together. I'll do it. God seen it was the time that Adam needed a wife and that he can handle a wife. And God took that rib out. Some of y'all are trying to awaken love before it's time. And you shaking and waking and trying to do what you want to do to get it moving. Because it probably ain't your husband. That's whole nother life though. But you're trying to wake and shake it and make it be what you want it to be. When God is saying, step away, step away from him. Step away from it. And I will cause him to go into a deep sleep. And I will make it known to him. Like, look, Adam, you need a suitable partner. Adam, yes, you named all the animals. You did all of this. You did all of that. Good job, Adam. But now you need a family. Now you need a family to go into this next phase. I need y'all to what? Be what? I need y'all to be fruitful. Be fruitful. Your relationship has to be fruitful. The Lord needs us to have children. Okay, God forbid. God forbid if we weren't fruitful back in the days, if man and woman wasn't making babies, God forbid you wouldn't be here today. So we need to continue to be fruitful and birth more children like ourselves to grow up and be leaders and ambassadors in this earth. God says that I am bringing your kingdom marriage to pass so that y'all can be fruitful and multiply, multiply in your finances. God says yet to me yesterday, I fell into a deep sleep on my couch yesterday and God said abundance over prophetic diary abundance abundance accelerated abundance we are about to see accelerated abundance but double portion could also be you and your husband finances coming together two people two finances that's double portion God can bring that multiplication in so many different ways but for many of us family is needed you need a suitable partner right now in your life. God is not doing it just because it's um, the mistletoe or it's a winter wonderland and all these words that are true. But God is saying that I'm bringing y'all together because I want y'all to be fruitful and multiply and bring more children like y'all. We need more finances. I need a Joseph to come together with a, a um a Deborah, a Joseph, he can provide and a family, he can provide to the nations just like Joseph did. And Deborah can be a judge and a poet and a songwriter and whatever else she was. And I need y'all to come together. I need Ruth and I need Boaz. Boaz got money. Ruth can have some kids. I need y'all to bring together some of that what? So that Jesus can be birthed. Jesus came out of the lineage of who? Ruth came on down. Okay, there's a reason for everything. And right now, we are in a season of marriage. We are in a season where God is bringing these families together. That's why I don't be mad if that man already got three kids. Because if you have three kids, your four kids, if y'all come together, it is a family dynamic where y'all can raise them kids to go out. We are not always going to be here. Some of us only got 50 years left on this planet. Some of us only got 20 years. I don't know how long we got. But God is saying that I need y'all to come together and get this work done. I need y'all rolling out businesses together. I need y'all rolling out nonprofits together. I need y'all working on um, helping other people and raising more marriages like y'all. We got work to do. So that's why God is so big on kingdom marriage. That's why I talk about kingdom marriage here at Prophetic Diary. I don't know why the other kingdom marriage videos come up. They clickbait or whatever they looking for. I can only speak over this house, but God is can't in this house. I need the marriages to come together because I need to get y'all out here marching two by two oh when the saints go marching in let us march in two by two family is more powerful that's why the enemy works so hard at what destroying families it starts in your family he wants to destroy the family he know that we're stronger together even here at prophetic diary he's always telling you some trash about me or trying to get you to leave the channel which many people do they follow away stray voices but the ones that know the lord's voice a, str a stranger they will not follow hallelujah glory to be to that so god is can i need a family dynamic we are stronger together that is why people are always trying to pull you away from your family dynamic whether that family is your actual family the pd family your work family whatever god has any family anytime people come together as family they're much stronger 
That's why you got to make sure everybody in your boat is rowing. You can't have everybody rowing, going through their process of changing, and then somebody sitting over there painting their fingernails. No, honey, this the, you in the wrong boat. This ain't the boat where we paint our fingernails and judge other people. I need everybody in this boat rowing because we got to get somewhere. That's why we all been being processed for kingdom marriage. That's why we all been going through our purifications. That's why we all been going through our changes. You got to get ready for what God is about to do, not only through your marriage, but through you. Okay, because when you got a husband covering you, you're going to be stronger. All right. All right, and let me set somebody free that's watching right now. I am not your kingdom spouse, okay? I know who my kingdom spouse is, and it ain't Nan, nobody I met on Prophetic Diary or through Prophetic Diary. Get over it, okay? I don't know who that was for, but that was for a brother that was watching. I think that I'm his wife. Let me tell you again. I'm not blind. She just don't see. I'm her husband. No, honey. I see clear. I know. I got to my mans. I'm good with my mans. Go find your woman's. Understood. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Yeah, she said it. My story says, one can put a thousand to flight, but two can put a ten thousand more to flight. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And God is saying in this hour, I need you. I need you. I, I'm going to make it so that your husband is in a prostrate condition. Maybe life circumstances is going to bring him there. Maybe he see the change in you, change in you in it to bring him there. Maybe he will see you go from a nervous wreck to being calm. He seeing you go from a doormat to having some standards. I don't know, but whatever it is, it's going to make him long for you and see you as the suitable partner opposed to all these other women. Because there was a whole lot of women on that field, Ruth, and there was a whole lot of women in that providence, um, Esther. But he chose you. He chose Deborah to be a prophet, to be a judge over them people. God chooses who he wants. God put up, God put down. Y'all don't believe in replacements, but replacements is a real thing. David was always snatching the crown off of somebody's head and putting it on his kids. It's a real thing. People have to say yes to the calling. They have to be willing to the calling. They have to want to marry you. They can say, no, I don't want to marry her. And you have to be okay with that. Don't let these people out here fool you. Okay. It is a real thing. But God says, forget all of that. God says that I am bringing them into a place, a prostrate place, a place of knowing that this is your suitable partner. This is the person that I have for you. Late in the midnight, God God is going to do it just like he did it by having Adam fall into a deep sleep. Is this where a blessing anyone today? A vulnerability standing there naked. The man and his wife were both naked. Standing there naked to rule over the beast of the field. You guys are to rule over over the beast of the field you are saved by the blood of jesus christ that takes you back to your garden of eden he brought the man to see what he would name them you are supposed to be naming businesses you and your husband should be naming businesses you and your husband should be naming your children you and your husband should be naming where you want to get married at. Naming, um, you know, the doctor for your children. You need to be naming things. Adam and Eve, Adam, Adam had to call out the names. You should be ruling. You should be helping your man rule over. Adam had already established himself. I'm preaching to somebody today. They just watching. Glory be to God. I'm preaching. I'm preaching. But, 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 but Eve was sent to help him rule over what God had already given him to have authority over. She was sent to rule, to pray, to help him be a ruler of this garden of Eden, this uh, a river, you know, the rivers and the lands and the oceans and the sea and all the animals. God has given us authority over all of those things. And you need to know your authority and your confidence. And that's why I'm always talking confidence here and, and being self-aware so that when you go around your husband. Yes, brother said it. Don't pay attention to what you see in the flesh. It doesn't matter what it looks like in the flesh because God is doing something in their sleep. God is doing something in their dreams. God is doing something in their life, in their jobs. God is doing something right now. God is doing something in them and through them, okay? But Adam was already standing in his authority when he met her. 
You don't want no weak man that ain't standing his authority, that don't know himself, that don't love God, that's chasing the women, chasing the world. You do not. Why would you want a man like that? You should not want a man that's lost in his own ways. I'm not even going to preach that word today. I'm, I'm not talking to those people. But in verse 15, it says, Eden, but the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to work it and to take care of it. God is giving you this kingdom marriage and, and to work it and to take care of it. And the Lord God commanded, you are free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of knowledge. Lean not on your own understanding. He's saying, I don't need you leaning on your own understanding, Adam, the tree of knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat of it, you will surely die. He's saying, don't be leaning on your own knowledge because you're going to die, Adam. Leaning on your own, your spiritual man is going to die. That's why I have a hard time here at Prophetic Diary when I'm talking to people that, that live in their flesh because they're not able, they're leaning on their own knowledge and wisdom and they're dying, they're dead in the spiritual realm. So I'm not talking to their, their spirit man is not alive. So you can't really get through to people um, that are not spirit led, they're fleshly because they're leaning on their own on understanding. Find me somebody that lean on their own understanding and that's somebody that is leaning in their flesh. Live, find me somebody that got to follow the book and be by the book. They're leaning on their own understanding. There are some things that just don't make sense. It don't make sense for God to pull a rib out of a man. It don't make sense, but you can't lean on your own knowledge. That's why people don't, are, don't come to Christianity because they can't believe that a man built the ark. They can't believe that a man um, lifted his staff and the Red Sea was parted. They have trouble believing that, and that's their problem. But the Bible said at the very beginning, lean not on your own understanding or you will surely die. And right now, you got to let the spirit of God work through you and work through this marriage. You got to let the spirit of God speak and you stop talking so much to them. Yes, Mar Marquis King said, come on, somebody. That's that old school. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Allow God to work through them. Allow God to work through your marriage. Allow God to do a good work. God will talk to them. God will talk to them. If they love the Lord and hearken unto the Lord like the prodigal, they will come back and repent before God. All right? But you, can, you can't force anything. You can't make somebody want to be with you. You can't make it. That's why I don't understand. You're blowing up their phone and calling them. And every time you see him, I can't believe you with that counterfeit. She don't look nothing like me. I look better than that counterfeit. I can't believe that, that, that you must be in love with that girl still and that man still. And you, it's not, you're wasting your time. You cannot make someone see you. You may, can't make someone love you. you. God, only God can do that. Only God can talk to them. Nothing you say, God can talk to them seeing your worth and seeing you glow up and seeing your peace and seeing that, you know, that, that absent make the heart fonder. You know, sometimes you got to absent make, sometimes you got to go absent to make, make the love or the heart grow fonder, whatever that saying is. But when you're absent from them, absent from them, it makes them take time to think. You know, when your kids, you leave your children for a few days with their grandmama and you go pick them up and they run out the house and they hugging you because they realize how good they have it. They realize how their mother understands them more than grandma do because grandma, oh, grandma just chilling with them and you get back. Grandma ain't done raised her kids. She ain't got time for all of that. But it makes them want you more. It makes them seek God to get understanding. It makes them look within themselves to do some cleaning up. It makes them put in the work and you got to pray that God takes shame and fear out of them so that they can reach out. You got to pray that, you know, they come to their senses. You got to pray that they have that pray for them. Pray for them. Yes. I'm not talking about some people. Pray. Tiny, I'm so tired of praying. I've been praying for him for 20 years. Girl, you are working. Okay. It, it shouldn't take all of that to wake somebody up, sis. Okay. I'm just saying, yes, you know, you know, be persistent and all of that. But you, but if your trust is in the Lord, you're not going to be tired doing it. You know, I love my Kino spouse and, and, you know, I pray for him, but I don't I, I don't do all of that. Like, I'm not tired. I'm not tired. I, 
I, I know God talks to him. You know, I know the Lord. I can't. When you get married, you can't. You, you got to just trust that God is talking to them. You got to trust that God is leading them. You can't be tired all the time. If they're wearing you out, sister girl, you need to take that back to the Lord because it should not be like that. If that man truly loves you, he's not trying to bring hell into your life. He's trying to bring joy. A real man. Is trying to bring joy into your life. A real woman is trying to bring peace. Okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But God says that in their sleep, God says right now, when 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 you don't know in the spiritual, like Adam, he was sleeping in the spiritual realm. Because when we sleep, we enter into a spiritual realm because our bodies are resting. But our spirits are wide awake and God is taking us into another realm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But God says this is a spiritual thing. Hashtag it's a spiritual thing. Any believers in here with me? Is this prayer blessing anyone? God says in the spiritual realm, I'm taking care of it. In the spiritual realm, I'm working some things out like I did for Adam. Fear not, be anxious for nothing, but in prayer and proper supplication and thanksgiving, make it known to God what you need. And God says, my child, my child, the, these marriages are going to do great works. These marriages are going to bring children into this planet, I mean, into this earth. The Lord says that I'm going to do great things through you and your spouse. Why, Latanya? Because you're great. You know, and we're doing this uh, with the old fast because we got to let go of who we were. We're not broke, busted and disgusted. We're we're walking in abundance and we're thriving. You got to believe it, even with all hell and depression and things trying to accusing spirits all around. You got to pick yourself up again. And allow God to fill you with his spirit and fill you with his joy and fill you with his confidence. And you got to get back on post and you got to get back to an assignment and you got to get back in your word and you got to get thankful to the calling. And I know you're like, well, I'm tired. And I understand that a lot of us have been through a lot of hurt concerning kingdom marriages. You've been through a lot of disappointment concerning your kingdom marriage. And I understand that. But you got to get rid of that old um, uh, mentality of pity and mourning and you got to get back on post and you got to believe again you got to stand again god is going to say to you now there's no more false stars and when it hit home it's going to hit a home run hashtag home run it's going to be a home run hashtag home run okay glory be to god glory be to god Glory be to God. We got three hours left on today on this fast. Make sure y'all praying. Let's pray together. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord God. I thank you for the words that you brought forth, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for the word in Genesis. I thank you for the word that we shared in Genesis 4 about Deborah. I thank you for this time. I thank you for the words that you've given me to give to your children in the name of Jesus. How you filled us up, Father God, in the name of Jesus. That no weapon formed against these prof these um kingdom marriages were prosper in the name of Jesus. That no weapon formed against your children against this channel, Father God, in the words here in the name of He says, I'm making a way out of no way. God is cleaning out some things right now. He says, I'm bringing a peace that surpasses all understanding. Hallelujah. He was the greatest gift around this Christmas time. There will be a lot. I've already seen two Christmas miracles come from kingdom marriages here at Prophetic Diary. I've already seen it. I've already seen a manifestation of two, two, two marriages. I mean, two spouses coming together here at Prophetic Diary. They both knew the one of them didn't think that they would ever meet somebody and they met somebody here in this Christmas season. So God is doing a great work here at Prophetic Diary in this season and also in the Christmas season. We're going to see divine turnarounds. Lord God, let 
me prophesy a little bit. We're going to see divine turnarounds, Father God, in the next few days, says the Lord. In the next few days before Christmas, you are going to see in the next few days, your new year will not come in the same, Jesus. And your new year will not be in the same. God has told some of you to change your hairstyles because you will walk into this new year new in the name of Jesus. God says there's somebody with a weight issue and you've been trying to lose weight and God says it's going to help you lose that weight and it's going to start before the new year. Your new year has already started and Jesus saying glory be to God. God says I'm sending out coffee. I'm sending out alertness. I am waking these spirit, these men's spirits up. I am waking them up. So many people have fumbled you. So many people have fumbled you but don't worry about your adversaries. Don't worry about the distractions. God will take care of them. Some people have robbed you. God says right now, that I'm taking care of those people that have robbed you. Stop worrying about the distractions and God says, get back composed. Start praying for your marriage. Start praying for the things that are important to him in this season of your life. In the name of Jesus, he would do it. God says, get out of your emotions and stay out of your emotions. You cannot be in your emotions right now. The Lord showed me today and I mentioned it on a prayer call. The Lord said, um, um, what is the name of that spirit that I mentioned today on a prayer call? Uh, what is it? What is the name of that spirit I mentioned today? Anybody was on there? I can't remember her name. The spirit's name. What was it? Who's on the call today? I need help. Who's on the prayer call this morning? Why can't I remember that name? My, my, um. Medusa. Thank you, Kier Taylor. Um, this morning when I woke up, I heard God say Medusa, Medusa. And what Medusa is, is Medusa likes to want to come into the church and attack the spouses. Medusa likes to tear spouses. I bind you, Satan, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And any monitoring spirits, any darkness spirits, any spirits that's not of you, that's monitoring, Shanna, monitoring this word. I send you back to the pit hell. Every altar that you build, every arrow that you shot will be shot back to you a hundredfold in Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Teacher, Father God, send your angels to send down a fiery a fire that will burn up all of our enemies. Father God, that's watching us right now and plotting against us and plotting against our fast. In the name of Jesus, I come against any retaliation spirits of any kind. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. But God showed me a Medusa spirit. And Medusa, um, if you look it up, she had like all these snakes and serpents on her head. And she seduced people through her eyes. And after she lured them in with her eyes, she would kill them. And God is saying there, there have been seduction spirits trying to seduce your husband and get them to look into their eyes just like Delilah and steal their strength. But God says that come to an end now. If you are tapped in in this channel, if you are a subscriber to the channel, you're in the flow of the channel, channel, and you hear the word that the Lord is saying, God is saying right now, I am killing that spirit, that Medusa spirit, and that spirit is killed by fire, um, like fiery arrows, and arrows, you got to shoot at it, and shoot at it, shoot at it, and right now, in the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that we shoot our arrows, our fiery arrows, the arrows of the Lord, Father God, in the spiritual realm, right at that Medusa head, right at that Medusa seducting spirit, Father God, in the name of Jesus, and any millions, and any Jezebel spirit that came around, we take you out now, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, um, Mrs. Robinson, for that seed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You got to take it out. And it would try it, the, the Medusa spirit to come to churches and seduce the husbands and separate the husbands, seduce the wives and uh, seduce people and cause havoc in the church and separation. And God said that to me this morning, Medusa. That's not something that I would come up with. I knew it was my Lord's. I know my father's voice. And that's what he said. I ain't never read up on her. Didn't feel like I needed to. But this morning, Glory be to God, but she has fallen today and that spirit will not rest on this church. Our spouses will no longer be seduced. Our spirit, you will see some of y'all dealing with that right now where y'all spouses seem seduced and taken up into a, a, a real weirdness where God says they're being released from that and they'll stand and they'll be confident and they'll know and they'll come to a clear mind and they'll come to clarity and they'll come to a breakthrough and they'll come to a knowing and they'll be delivered in Jesus' name for that seducing spirit of Medusa and the other marine spirits or lion spirits that have been following in their life. God is saying through this fast out with the old. God is breaking some things off in this fast. We got three hours left. Y'all stay prayed up. Stay strong. Don't eat no food. You know, eat your fruits and vegetables. Drink you some water. It ain't worth it. Don't break your fast. Stay strong. It ain't that serious. You ain't gonna die. Just eat what you gotta do. But glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I'm going to get out of here. I love y'all. Hope for y'all sign up for a one-on-one. -on -one. Join us in the winter circle. Make sure y'all on the prayer call tomorrow at 6.30 a.m. Thank you, Maddie Grace, for that seed. If anyone else wants to sow, put hashtag. Hashtag. Well, what's the hashtag for this word? Let me see. Hashtag U-turn. Hashtag U-turn. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Bless everyone. 
Father God, bless over this life, bless over this time. May not the, the seeds, let the seeds fall on good ground in our minds and in our hearts and let it flourish and let it grow. Hold on to this word. Listen to this word again if you have to. Listen to it again if you have to to get it back in your spirit. Okay, get back on post. God has something great for you in your marriage and Satan is trying to tire you out, but he's not. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Everything you need to know is in the description box, keywinassist.com. Thank you, Life Move. Thank you for everyone that's still sold. I'll pray over y'all. See you later. Blessings to y'all and y'all families and y'all kingdom marriages. Bye-bye.